Greetings and salutations. In case you didn't realize, this is Jay Scott once again. And it's been a second since I did the first video on Cast Tech. And by the way, I appreciate the response and the love that I got on the video from Cast Tech and even the bitterness that I might have gotten from, you know, Cast Tech alums and the Detroit apologists who seem to have a problem with me pointing out the obvious issue. And before I go into this next video here, <clears throat> this is not a case of me wanting to glorify the ruined porn, which has become such a major thing here in the city of Detroit the last decade or so, where you have people from all over the country coming up with their cameras to take pictures of all the ruins of Detroit like this is ancient Rome. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm tired of the ruins of ancient Rome living in Detroit, and we won't do anything about it. We'll sit here and get giddy over a Chrysler commercial featuring Eminem. We'll sit here and proclaim Detroit is back because of a commercial. We'll sit here and have people throwing together donations to get a statue of RoboCop built in this city. Yet, we don't seem to want to throw together any money to, you know, stop this from happening to the city. And if that looks familiar to you, as I will step out of this car, because it's time to hop on the train station. This is the single greatest example of the ruin porn that this city has. It has become a monument to the decline of a once, once very strong American city. This depot was built in the early 20th century. It at one time was a major transportation hub throughout the United States. It's where, you know, back in the 20s when people mostly traveled largely by train. Yes, we had planes, but they traveled largely by train. This is where it all happened. This is the Michigan Central Depot. It is in Corktown, and it is in ruins. And it has been in ruins since it closed in 1988. Now, mind you, in 1983 is the last time any passenger trains went through here. But 88 is when it shut down. And, yeah, in the last 10 years or so, this place has become the symbol, if you will, for, for what has happened to one, one of the many great structures that once stood in this city. The funny thing is, is that when you drive up the freeway, whether it's on 75 or whether it's on 96, and you see this building, you can actually see clean through it because there's not a window left here. This is 23 years worth of of neglect, 23 years worth of damage, 23 years worth of BS that has been done to this building. And yet, you notice it still stands. Now, unlike another building that, another area that I will get to in another video, this was, this building is not owned by the city. It's owned by Maddie Maroon, the gentleman who owns the Ambassador Bridge to Canada. And yes, I know what you're thinking. Why the hell does somebody own the Ambassador Bridge? Your guess is as good as mine. This is Detroit. That's the kind of logic we use. But this particular building is owned by Maroon. He bought it in the early 80s. He, when it closed in 1988, he talked about he had big plans for it, and they were planning on doing things with it. But much like every other building that has been left abandoned for 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years in this city, nothing has been done with it except, of course, having it vandalized. Every window was broken out. And ironically enough, if you're paying attention and you look toward the top there, you see the words, Save the Depot. Sorry, but the uh, train left the proverbial station on that happening a long time ago. You can't save this building. And the problem with Detroit is, as I said in the Cast Tech video, we are a city of pack rats and hoarders. We want to save everything. We, we would rather... We would rather, and here's the thing, if you want to save something, I'm all for it. I am. I'm all for saving buildings like this. If you wanted, but the thing is, if you wanted to save it, you wanted to make some sort of use out of it, you probably should have done it about 1990. It's 2011. It's been abandoned 23 years. Every single window is broken out of this damn thing. I can't stress that enough. And if you see it from a distance, the building looks black. It looks like a gigantic tumor. You can't save this building. It's too far gone. Sorry, Detroit, it's too far gone. Just like the, not, the people who say, oh no, Cast Tech, th that's just made up. You can save Cast Tech. No, you can't. It's done. It's over. It's gone. And the same thing goes for this depot. It was a beautiful building. To see the history that surrounded this thing 
is just unbelievable. And that's what makes what has happened to it so difficult to, to fathom now. Because you see, it's surrounded by barbed wire, but unlike Cast Tech, it's not slated to be demolished. It's just gonna sit here. Because Matty Moron, I, I mean Maroon, won't do anything with it because he's trying to protect his investment. Essentially, he's sitting on this land and letting this thing sit here. And all it's added is another eyesore to the city of Detroit's landscape. And I'm tired of it. Save the depot. Saving the depot actually means putting effort into it. Not trying to just sit there and stare at it like I am and make it seem like, hey, there's nothing wrong with this building. This is a piece of art. I swear in Detroit, we have a very funny way of showing our appreciation for our great buildings and our great art. Because by the way, at one time, this building was a masterpiece. Now, it's just another eyesore. So, here's, here's why I do these, once again. I do these videos because I'm somebody who grew up in this city. I don't, I'm not one of these people who just kind of flies in here and says, I'm going to save Detroit, and I love this city, and I want to see it come back. I'm one of those people who actually grew up here and saw what the city was like. And I've got family members who grew up here, who went through the riots, who went through all the negatives of the 60s and the 70s. I went through the 80s in this city. And I never thought I'd see the day where this was considered the norm. So all I have is a challenge to everybody who likes to puff out their chest and say Detroit is back and we're coming back and we're coming back. Detroit's on its way back up. Prove it. You want to show me how Detroit's coming back? Do something about this.